Hey everyone, this is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate that too. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about step 10 and 12 step programs. Step 10, and it goes like this. Continue to take personal inventory and when we're wrong, promptly admitted it. And what I want to say before we get started into the video, before we move a little further into the video, is keep this step really simple. This step really works if we take the action to apply it into our daily lives. So overthinking it and thinking the hell out of it can sometimes cause alcoholics to hesitate and may not even do this step when need be. So keep it really simple. For me, it's an action step. It's a must do step and just go out there and do this step on a daily basis. It'll help you with your spirituality. It'll help you with your emotions and your mental health. It really will and it'll boost your recovery. It's a maintenance step. It's like doing a mini step four and five on a daily basis. I do it, not often, I do it when I'm on a line. I really do. Some of the key things I watch for when I'm doing a daily inventory when it comes to my recovery is I look for if I'm dishonest. Am I dishonest somewhere? Have I stole something? Have I not told the truth to somebody? Or am I dishonest with myself? Am I carrying a resentment? Am I resenting a person, place, or thing? Because resentments, when it comes to me, are very, very harmful. And when it comes to alcoholics, they can be very harmful. And do I owe somebody an apology? Was I out of line with somebody? Have I done something wrong to somebody, said something, spoke out of turn that I need to, you know, ante up and I need to go out to that person, place or thing and apologize to them. You know, sometimes, you know, one time I talked to a guy who was doing a repair on my garage and I, and I lost it on the guy over the phone. You know, I had to make an amends to that guy. I had to call him up and talk to him about it. So I did that. And you know something really, really interesting about that situation that I'm just talking about? That he really appreciated. A lot of people don't move forward when they harm people. They don't move forward with an apology and you know, walk up to that person and just say, I'm sorry for what I said to you. I'm sorry the way I behaved. It's really taking responsibility for our behavior. It's ending the cycle of that situation that caused difficulties in our lives. And for myself, I'm trying to keep my side of the street clear, clean, and I'm trying to work on being responsible for my behavior and being a better person on a daily basis. And that's one thing step 10 really helps us do. It helps us take responsibility. Another one that I really watch out for on a daily inventory is resentment. One thing about alcoholics that I have known for myself and other alcoholics is the little resentments we carry. Things that we carry in our daily lives that we may carry over to the next day. The one thing about resentments, if we don't do something about that resentment, they accumulate. And over at the end of the week, we got set of one resentment, we got 20 resentments that we've never dealt with. So in a personal inventory, watch out for resentments. Watch out. And if you have a resentment, you can pray for that person. You can talk to your mentor, your sponsor in the program about it, but deal with it on a daily basis. And that's what the step 10 is really about. It's about doing a house cleaning on a daily basis. And for myself, like I said, it's watching out for being dishonest, watching out for resentments, watching out for if I owe somebody an apology. They're the three key things that I watch out for because I have a problem with those three things. Staying honest, dealing with resentments, and promptly admitting it when I am wrong. When I am wrong. Stepping up to the plate and saying I'm wrong. I've had huge anger issues in the past. I've worked on anger for many, many years in sobriety. It's caused me a lot of grief. And sometimes I get tired of apologizing or taking responsibility for my behavior. But over the years, it's really helped me be more aware of my character defect. It's helped me overcome a lot of anger and take responsibility 
for my behavior and let the other individuals know that I recognize the harms that I've caused raising my voice or the, the problems I've caused on having little tantrums like a little kid as an adult. It's letting the other side know that, that I acknowledge that and it really helps you, helps me and it can help you with your personal relationships, your work relationships, your children's relationships, all sort of relationships. 12, I mean, step 10 is a really great character builder. Okay, it really, really is. Alcoholics or people in general, we are not saints. We are going to make mistakes. We are not white as snow. We are really not. And step 10 gives us the tools to help us deal with those situations and remain fresh and complete that cycle of resentment or dishonesty or owing somebody an apology. Justifiable anger or not taking action for our behavior or looking after our internal life, our spiritual life or emotional life can be very harmful for us. It can really be harmful, you know, it can. Alcoholics in general, when we're trying to build a better life and we're trying to do better by ourselves and people around us at work, wherever it may be, our children or our partners, when we screw up in life, a lot of us feel a little grind against it. Like, you know, it goes against our, our spiritual fiber, our, our way of life or what we're trying to do. You know, we feel that sting a little greater. In taking an action and moving forward, dealing with the resentment, I know I'm repeating myself, dealing with that resentment or making that apology or being honest with ourselves and people around us, we deal with that situation immediately and it dissipates, it goes away. We don't have to carry that baggage of yesterday into tomorrow. And because we don't have to do that, we can live in the present and be more aware of ourselves and our surroundings on a daily basis. We can be free of resentment. We can be free of justifiable anger. We can be free of that. Resentments against ourselves and other people. It's very freeing, it's a maintenance step. Like I say, it's like doing a mini step four and a step five on a daily basis. If you're having problems with some of the apologies or resentments that you're having, talk to people, like-minded people in the program and I'm for sure they'll be able to help you with it. If you have a mentor, if you have a sponsor in a 12-step program, talk to that individual and bounce off what you're thinking and what you want to do with that situation on a daily basis to get the hang of it. That's what I did. Sometimes I have resentments. Sometimes I have to make an apology, but I'm too afraid or, or I lied or I did something that wasn't that great and I'm ashamed of it. And I bounce it off somebody first in the 12 step program and we talk about it. And then after that, I take an action because we need to do that. We need to stay healthy emotionally, mentally, and spiritually one day at a time. But just remember, no one is perfect. That step is a maintenance step. That step there is a step or a tool to help us maintain our sobriety. It really is, it works. It works if you work it, okay? I hope I helped you with that. We all have our watches, but we have to watch for when it comes to a step 10, okay? For me, I named them in this video and I keep an eye on those things and this step works for me, okay? So thanks a lot for listening to my video. I hope it helped you a bit when it comes to step 10. If it did, leave a comment below. If it didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I'll see you next week. We're all in this together. Ciao for now and God bless. See you later, alligator.